So today's lesson is a simple and fun one. We're going to make an abstract composition using a pencil. We're also going to learn about a technique called frottage, which is just a big word for putting something under your paper and then rubbing over the top of it with a pencil to make an imprint. To get started, you'll first want to gather some relatively flat objects. I'm using stuff I have lying around, which happens to be a guitar pick, a stick of gum, some tape, and a paper clip. But coins, sandpaper, maybe a wall in your room or a sidewalk, the tiles on your kitchen floor, a tree, anything with texture will work for this. There's one important thing you need to know before we start this technique. For frottage, we need to hold our pencil differently than we might normally hold it. I want to use the edge of the pencil tip, so I'm going to hold it at a very slight angle like this. I want to avoid using the tip of the pencil because I might poke through the paper. To start, I'm just going to place my piece of paper over my paper clip and then rub the side of my pencil over the top of it using firm pressure, just like I showed you before. Now this piece is going to be abstract, so it doesn't really matter how I arrange the objects. I just need to think about how I want to fill up this space. I'm trying to think about some of the principles of design while I do this, so I'm thinking about the negative space and trying to decide how I want people's eye to move through the composition, but these are all very personal choices. The goal here is to arrange the objects in a way that looks good to you. I'm starting off by tracing each object a few times, then making some shapes out of the tape, but you do what works best for you. There's no right or wrong way to do You can see here that I'm actually incorporating some of the tape and the objects together. And I don't have to rely on only for Taj to fill the space. You can also go back and add some drawing. I'm using my pencil to outline some of the shapes I've made and I'm using my eraser to draw as well. See how I'm able to make lines by erasing some of the pencil? I'm also tracing objects on top of my composition for variety. Also notice how I'm switching between these techniques. You don't have to do them in any specific order. Just try to make it so that each time you add something, it's making a positive contribution to your composition.